Let's get started assembling your Elisis Nitro Mesh Kit. First, open the box. Remove the module and the kick pedal. Next, the hi-hat control pedal. This accessory box contains the power supply, connection cables, manual, drumsticks, and tom mounts. This box contains three cymbal pads. Here's the kick tower. Each of these drum pad boxes contain two mesh pads. This box contains the rack and mounting hardware. Left and right sides are indicated on the packaging. And here are all the components unpacked and ready for assembly. First, let's put the rack together. The horizontal bar inserts into the vertical leg. Make adjustments with the included Allen wrench. Now that the rack is assembled, we'll install the tom holders, as well as the snare holder. Mount the toms onto the holders. The snare pad is indicated by this label. Next, install the cymbal holders. When installing the cymbals, make sure that the tab fits into the notch. A felt washer and wing nut complete the setup for each cymbal. Now let's prep the kick pedal. Install the beater, be sure to use the plastic side. Loosen the clamp and attach to the kick tower, then retighten. The hi hat control pedal goes here. Connect the multi-pin cable to the bottom of the module, secure with screws, and mount to the rack. Each cable is listed with the drum that you connected to. Here's the ride. Connect Tom 3, Tom 2, and Tom 1, as well as the kick tower. This cable, marked hi-hat control, plugs into the foot controller on the floor. The cable marked hi-hat plugs into the hi-hat symbol. 
connect the snare and the crash cymbal. This completes the assembly of your Nitro Mesh Kit. If you have any questions, contact Kraft Music.